Hello everyone, welcome to the 2013 Golden Icons Academy Movie Awards, also known as the Guillermo Awards. This year is the second acting show and we are here live. here live at the pre-award show and we are here with designer and creative director of Machi Couture, Miss Ebele Ilonaya. Nice to see you. I'm happy to see everyone here so I'm excited. Excellent. You are looking so beautiful. You're giving me your Naomi Campbell with this hair. Love it, love it, love it. And we're also here with the beautiful the elegant Miss Frederica DK. She's also one of our co-respondents for the Guillermo Awards this year. How are you feeling right now? I'm doing excellent this evening and it's a pleasure to be here at the 2013 Guillermo Awards. Excellent. So just to kick things off, you know, this is such an exciting event and we're gonna see lots of glitz, glamour, on the red carpet this year. Yes, last year we did the black carpet, but this year we're gonna spice things up a little bit with a little bit of a red carpet. Chic because last night I was wearing one of your designs. You, oh, I kept getting compliments for compliments. So tell us a little bit about Mod Chic. I'm sure you did it justice. Well, Mod Chic is all about the three C's, like I always say, it's about the classic, the contemporary, and the cutting edge. So that's what we strive to do. So it's all about the everyday woman, how she feels, how she looks. She doesn't want to go overboard, but she's, you know, she wants to push the fashion envelope just a little bit. So that's what Mod Chic is all about. We've been in business now for four years and it's been amazing. We have customers all over the world and always love our clothes. They look amazing in them. Absolutely. Now, uh, you know all about fashion the do's and the don'ts. As an expert, tell us, what are the do's? Well, the do's for fashion is always be glam, especially in a, an event like this. Make sure you take extra time. Ladies, you guys look fantastic. You guys are bringing in everything. There's a sparkle, there's a glitter, you know, this is how a red carpet should be. This is how an event like this should be. So basically, that's what it is. Your hair should always match your attire. It's very important. And there's something that I think is a major do. What about for, let's say, a slim girl like me? Uh, I don't like something that shows too much, and at the same time, I don't want something that's too covered up, too conservative. What, 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 what do you think some a girl like me, that's slim, should wear? Well, the beauty about being slim is you can pretty much get away with a lot of stuff. You can you know go you know put on layers and it will look nice so for a girl like you you know you can wear you can still wear like a fitted dress it doesn't have to be too open it could be like a pencil dress without it being like with a, um, a stretchy fabric it could be something like fitted but it still looks good on you and it complements you you can go edgy with the neckline you can go sheer with the back you can put some spikes in you know you can do whatever that's the beauty of being slim I was a I saw a couple of dresses and I was worried about spikes. Are spikes still in season? Well definitely you shouldn't wear a dress with all spikes. That is a big no-no. But yeah, a touch here and there. Or sometimes you can take it off your dress completely. It can be on your clutch. It can be on your shoes. So the accents, maybe a, a, on a neck piece, you know, on the hair piece, you know, something. It doesn't have to be on your dress. Now the Michael Jackson spikes they're out of season. Please 
do not do them. <laughs> Absolutely. So what's a don't for you, Ms. DK? I would say a don't is too much matching. Um, I like to kind of change it up, have different concepts, but still keep it the same element, but keep it very classy. Absolutely. What are the good colors for this season? Well, I love, I'm loving the, you know, all the plums, the berries. Turquoise is a shade of blue that is in, and I think it goes well with everybody. So green, the green, the greens in the blues, you know, you can, you can stick with that. And of course, we're going into the winter, so the winter whites, the grays, the stones, they're, you know, all in. Absolutely. And I can see here that you brought a couple of your designs. Can you help us illustrate what you got for us? Okay, so basically, we talked about, you know, the award show. Now, a celebrity or whoever is coming to the award show can do, can wear this. You know, it has like the blues I was talking about, and it has, you know, a little bit of a low neckline going on here. It has this accent of gold right here. So it basically has everything going. It's flowy, it's fitted on the top. You know, a, a little bit of sexy is always good. Now here, we go over to the after show, the after party. Now we want something sexy without being too revealing. So you have the cutout on the shoulder, you have a cutout right here, and it's fitted. It's really like it's a body hugging dress and it will sh it accents in all the right places. So this is the perfect dress to wear. You can do it with gold jewelry, you can do it with red, pink, whatever you want. It's still an amazing dress. Okay, so what about for a lady who's curvaceous, but she is petite on the upper part of her body? How could you fit an outfit for her? Now that's the beauty of what's in season now. A lot of people are going for the stretchy fabrics. And the thing about it is it molds to your body. So, you know, even though you're small at the top, you're bigger at the bottom, that's fine. You can get away with wearing that as well. Now, the other way to go is whatever you buy in the store, you have to invest in a good tailor. You can always fit it to fit you. That's the amazing thing about fashion. Every woman needs that secret. You need a good tailor. So, I love this tail dress you have going on here. So beautiful. Um, the detail on the neck, the piece you have going there, to me is what kills me about this dress. I just love it. So what tips do you have for finding the perfect piece to accentuate your dress? Yeah, um, this for this piece, it's, it, it complements the dress really well. But you also have to keep in mind that whatever you're wearing, it all depends on where you're going to. So that's the secret about choosing the right accessory for your dress. So you could do, you could go with this neck piece if you want it, but you could also think about doing like chandelier earrings if you have your hair pulled back, just like something you have on and with, you know, you can do like arm candy. So it all depends on where you're going and how you, re you really are feeling. So for me, I always do one piece at a time. What do I like about this dress? Do I really want to show the gold? Then I go with the gold jewelry. Do I want to show the blue? Do I want to do a contrast? So all of that are things that I think about with wearing this dress. I could do a purple with this and it will go really, really well. Yes, purple will look amazing. You are absolutely right with finding the perfect accessory for that dress because your accessory has to complement your dress. The perfect accessory can either add value to your dress or it can just reduce. Is there such thing as too much? Well, in this day and age, there's nothing that's too much. But in my own book, I think there's some things that are just too much for some dresses. With this dress, I'm going to struggle a bit with, you know, having so much spikes, just like we said, on it. So, yeah, there is something that's having too much. Thank you so much, Ms. Machik. I really, really appreciate you. You have been so awesome, such a fantastic guest. 
Freddie, always so beautiful, so elegant. You're, you're representing for the curvy ladies. Yes. I cannot wait to get on the red carpet because I'm so excited to see our big stars tonight. It's going to be such a great show. Well, who are you expecting to see tonight? Well, I can't wait to see Uchi Jumbo. I really love what she wore last year. I can't wait to see what she's going to put on this year. Um, and of course, the guys, the fashion. Yeah, the fashion last year for the guys were amazing. They came with their bow ties and all of that. So, yeah, hey, I can't wait to see them. Alrighty, we'll see what Nollywood and Africa has brought to us right here in Houston, Texas. I am so happy we have you guys watching at home and supporting us. And we're are about to get that red carpet started. So you guys stay tuned right here on Golden Icons Academy Movie Awards. This is your host, Emma Emerson, with the beautiful Miss Ebele Eloyan and Miss Frederica DK. Thank you guys so much. See you on the red carpet. But something about you that got me going. Ooh, girl.